Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot for the sake of old sign? For old lang sign, my dear, for old lang sign, we'll take a cup. Hello. So students have been learning Old Lang Syne, which is a song um, that is sung at New Year. And I just want to show you the chords um, to use so you can strum along at home. So first of all, we'll need the D chord, which is the shape of a triangle. Um, your fingers go like that. And if you put your first finger on the third string second fret, which is an A note, and the second finger on the E string second fret, and the third finger on the D note, so you've got this kind of triangle shape, and then that makes a D chord. Um, if you want to do the whole song with D, you can, if you don't want to do any changes, but um, I'd quite like students to practice the changes as well, so the next chord we need is an A chord, which is three in a row, like that. So if you know an A note, you've got an A note and then a finger next to it either side. Are you Teddy? Okay. for an A chord and the last chord we need is a G chord which is quite stretchy so if you put a finger on the fifth string second fret and on the sixth string third fret and then here's the stretch the last one goes on the first string third fret so it makes that kind of um, sort of stretched triangle shape G chord okay so we've got a D chord and an A chord and a G chord and they should be in the back of your book as well to have a look at. Okay, let's try it, let's try it slowly. So one, two, three, four. Let's have a go a little bit slower. One, two, three. Should all 